Welcome back. There is less than one month to go until the King's coronation and new details are now emerging ahead of the event, outlining the procession, the carriages that will be used, the route uh, that they will take and the events following the service. Well, reporter Natalie Oliveri has the details. Morning, Nat. Morning, Thanks Nat. for coming in. What's the day going to look like? It's going to be really big, but the processions, there'll be two actually, they'll be much smaller, really a fraction of the late Queens back in 1953, but in saying that it's still going to be quite huge. So we've got the first procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey, that's the King's procession, and that will see uh, King Charles and Camilla inside the Diamond Jubilee State Coach, which was built in Australia, so a that's really right, nice yeah. connection to us. Uh, that'll take them to Westminster Abbey, the ceremony, the coronation itself will begin at 11 a.m. It'll run for around an hour, again much shorter than the Queen's three-hour spectacle mm. back in 1953. Now the procession back to the palace is going to be known as the Coronation Procession. This one it's actually going to be the same route, it's basically just coming back on itself but it will be much slower because the King and Queen will be inside the Gold State Coach. Now this is the one that was used for the Queen's Coronation, we saw it for the uh, Jubilee last year and the Queen actually described it as being a horrible ride when she mm. had her own coronation because the suspension is really old fashioned. But it will be pulled by a number of horses, so it's going to be going at walking pace. So much slower, but very, very grand. This one we're seeing here is the Diamond Jubilee State Coach, the oh, Australian built one. Wow. The Gold State coach, as you would imagine, is pure gold. So <laughs> very heavy and Goodness. very elaborate. It's amazing, that gold coach. Yeah, it? it's going to look absolutely spectacular. And then, of course, when the royals get back to the palace, they will be appearing on the, the balcony and for the, the fly past of the aircraft. It's going to be massive. Big crowds, all that. Big crowds, yeah. Really interesting. And it's funny because those people who do secure a prime spot to watch the procession will actually see the royals pass twice because the mm. route will be passing back on itself. So, mm. yeah. Big Good bang for their buck. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> Any, any word yet on Harry and Meghan? Oh, will gosh. they'll be there? Will they not be there? That's what we all want to know, but Harry and Meghan still haven't confirmed their attendance. Apparently the deadline passed officially last Monday, but look, royal family members have given been given a little bit more time to RSVP, but you'd think by now Harry and Meghan would make it known their intentions for the day. It's less than three weeks away, really. Well, are they waiting for a better offer? I don't like what? We, we don't what? know. Well, we How don't know why they RSVP for something that significant? My, my feeling is that perhaps the royals do know what's happening, but it hasn't been made public mm. yet. Perhaps, look, I still expect Harry and Meghan to be there. It is the most important day on the royal family's calendar. It will be the most important day in decades. It's the king's in most his important father's day. Life. Yeah. Exactly. So for him to miss it, I think it would be a massive blow. And also, it would sort of like cut them off the royals, you know, forever. Maybe from really. a security perspective, they want to keep their cards close to their chest. The thing is, perhaps that could be why they haven't said, but when they are at the coronation, if they do go, they will be protected by the royal security bubble, so Harry's security issues really shouldn't matter mm. at the time. They've got to be there. Dad's becoming yeah, king, for heaven's sake. So. Hey, uh, we saw the senior royals out and about for Easter. Prince Louis uh, stole the show <laughs> once again. Gosh, he's gorgeous. He's, he, so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. He's so serious as well. We didn't see any waves from Louis, no smiles, just that serious face there that we can see as the royals walked into mm. us in George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Now, this was a very special day, very much a family event. We saw the king and and uh, Queen Consort lead their family to the service. We also saw Prince Andrew there. It is a family event, Sylvia. That's mm. why he was included. Yeah, I thought that was interesting to see Andrew front Yeah, and I guess you weren't expecting him, but because it is a family event, he was certainly among family members. Um, we also saw the new Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Princess Eugenie, Princess Beatrice. Um, but look, it was funny to see all the royal ladies and even some of the men dressed in coordinating shades of blue, yeah. which the palace said was actually a coincidence. It no. wasn't actually planned, but it looks very much planned to me. Yeah. They, and look, it was also um, King Charles and Camilla's 18th wedding anniversary. Wow. A really special day, the first Easter since the passing of the late Queen and also mm. two years since Prince Philip died on April 9. Of mm. course, yeah. Yeah. Um, there were some other lovely images around on the weekend of George <laughs> and William and we just wanted to touch on them again because they're very sweet. <laughs> He's really his dad's mini-me, isn't he? Absolutely. Yeah. Just look at their faces. They're really mirroring each Watching other Aston here. Watching Aston Villa. Watching Aston Villa. Now, Prince William has been an Aston Villa fan since high school and clearly uh, George is following his father's team. But they just <laughs> no, look sorry. so alike. Also wearing matching navy jumpers and white and blue check shirts underneath. So, spitting image. Just, just the hair is a little bit different, Sylvia. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, it's so cute. Naughty of you to point that out. I Nat. think they both look adorable. <laughs> they do. It's very sweet. And like Aston, father Villa, like son, huh? Aston Villa won, so they, they did. Yeah, well, so William and George. Very happy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nat. Thanks. You have a great day.